In this video essay, I will discuss the psychology of the mind and how it's explored and portrayed through the style of German Expressionism in the films The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Coraline, directed by Robert Wine and Henry Selick, respectively. Both The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Coraline explore the psychology of the mind through the themes of manipulation, perceptions of reality, and paranoia, themes commonly associated with German Expressionism. The use of mise-en-scene is a significant part of how German Expressionism explored thematic ideas and psychological concerns. The filmmakers used distortion in their visuals, such as harsh shadows and low-key lighting. This, combined with artificial sets, featuring realistic and surreal details, unexpected camera angles and exaggerated acting, reflected the depression and inner conflict of 1920s Germany after their defeat in World War I. Themes of betrayal and violence became preferable to German audiences, whose experiences during the war made these more relevant topics for discussion, as stated by Samuel Harris on his website Movement in Film. By rejecting cinematic realism, these films included revolutionary interpretations of the human mind and were pre-curators to the horror, crime and film noir genres. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari is one of the most famous examples of German Expressionism and tells the story of a hypnotist Dr. Caligari who uses his synombolist Caesar to commit violent murders. The film is characterised by its asymmetrical camera angles, surreal sets and elongated shadows that help reveal a disconnect between subjectivity and reality. The film is widely known for its unexpected plot twist, revealing that the story is merely the delusions of an asylum patient, Francis. The social context of the film is based on the experiences of World War I soldiers, who returned from the war suffering from PTSD and other mental illnesses. The expressionist movement gained popularity after Germany's defeat, as it was a way for audiences to cope with their depressive mood and emotions. The expressionist art movement was a persecutor to expressionism in film, and filmmakers drew inspiration from the eerie paintings created at the time. Lacking the subtle shading and colours of realistic paintings, elongated figures and tilted buildings defined traditional perspectives. Caligari's studio built sets incorporated this stylization. These dark feelings are transmitted through the protagonist, showing how he sees the world, dark and eerie with tilted buildings, distorted objects and strange characters. By discovering Francis's true state, after exploring his subjective experience, the audience is shown how identities are malleable. Expressionists longed for a new beginning. Within the film's context, the new beginning is symbolised by the murder of the clerk. The arrogant clerk represents the bureaucratic government, and his murder is representative of the public's disillusionment of authority. Coraline incorporates many aspects of German Expressionism. The influence of Expressionism is particularly apparent in the mise-en-scene of the exterior of the house and the layout of the mother's interior space in her final confrontation. Expressionism is often concerned with the psychology of the mind, and in Coraline, this exploration is through the multiple realities experienced by the protagonist. At the start of the film, we are introduced to a dilapidated Victorian home with a muted colour palette, contrasting to the bright colours worn by Coraline, who leaves the house in search for wonder. This door leads her to a mirror reality, with everything she desired, attention, amusement and wonder. This stop motion film reflects a modern dual income family with loving but busy parents who are dealing with the upheaval involved in moving to a new place. Modern audiences can relate to Coraline's boredom and frustration with her distracted parents. In fact, in 2009, when Coraline was released, a report from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics approximated that one in nine Americans moved residents and more than 55% of US households were dual income. With its message of be careful what you wish for, Coraline reflects on how not everything is as it seems. This way Coraline explores the psychology of the mind as one person's perspective is different to another's, particularly between parent and child. Both The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Coraline explore perceptions of reality, not just through the storyline but through colour, mise-en-scene and depth. Wine uses an unreliable narrator in The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, a patient inside a mental sanatorium to explore perceptions of reality, revealing the susceptibility of the mind to questions of truth. The film explores lack of light and uses it to enhance the audience's apprehension. Shadows are used to enhance ominous shapes, especially Caesar in the frame depicting him stretched against a tilted wall. The painted shadows on the set make the twisted world seem unsettling. The set features bizarre structures and angles in combination with sickly colours, often hand-painted onto the film. These techniques reflect the character's emotions and disconnect between subjectivity and reality. The painted walls in the prison cell achieve a suffocating effect, making the room appear smaller, symbolizing the prisoner's lack of control in this state. The curving of the metaphysical set constructs the viewer with a surreal and unfamiliar design, creating states of terror and anxiety. This type of eerie set lined with shadows is also used in Coraline for similar reasons, demonstrating how German Expressionism has shaped cinema beyond its immediate movement. Both films have set pieces or coloured tints that are emblematic to represent characters' emotional states. Coraline's ambiguous perceptions of reality help her sustain the connection between the two realms. 
Her parents brush off her story similar to how Dr. Caligari ignores his allegations from the asylum patient at the end of the film. The snow on your clothes. What's gotten into you, Coraline? However, there are surreal aspects still present in her real world, such as the motif of the doll and the talking cat. Coraline altered the audience's perception of reality through alternating depth cues, designing the normal world with inconsistent depth cues within the shots to seem flat and off-kilter, and the alternative world in a normal perspective. As Pete Kozacik, the director of photography on Coraline explains, the compositions match in 2D, but the 3D depth cues evoke a different feel for each room. The tiles in the family shower create an unnaturalistic depth of field, as they do not recede into the distance. Moreover, the design on the house moves in parallel lines in combination with the almost cubistic edges on the floorboards. In contrast, the other world displays a central perspective, receding naturally. For example, the bricks in the magical garden have a strong sense of depth, created by the lighting and tonal gradients. The psychological theme of paranoia is apparent in the cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Coraline as the films demonstrate the style of German Expressionism through visual design. According to CNN Health, humans naturally associate darkness with themes of death as we fear what we cannot see. Therefore, sunny bright places are more likely to be interpreted as safe because we can see everything surrounding us. Wine deliberately used this knowledge when creating the carnival scene featuring the antagonist Dr. Caligari on a brightly lit set. The chiaroscuro lighting technique was utilised in the film to emphasise the contrast between light and dark. By showing that the villain could be anyone, this technique fed into the fear and paranoia experienced by post-World War I Germany, where suspicions were increasing between communists and Jews. This chiaroscuro effect also is present in Coraline's visual design, as it's seen in the scenes set in the other realm. The clashing neon colours grow even brighter and unnaturalistic when the other world turns sinister, in contrast to the traditional indications of danger. Even though the killer is not seen directly in the first murder scene, the use of lighting creates a sense of dread and terror as the victim is surrounded by white sheets contrasting to the black walls and the synonymous dark silhouette. The visual juxtaposition provides a sense of foreboding presence surrounding the victim and the audience. The film reads as a warning to German audiences about the dangers of spreading suspicion and the negative effects of an oppressive authority figure, such as the German army and Kaiser. Shadows are also used to communicate a sense of danger in Coraline, especially in the opening scene where the other mother's shadow and hand are seen making Coraline's doll. The metal hand motif also appears in the lightning, foreshadowing the danger Coraline faces further in the film to make the audience uneasy. The motif of the doll and the hand and the button eyes are referenced throughout the film through the visual elements and dialogue included to increase the tension. Our eyes will be on both films use abstract landscapes to evoke recognisable objects but portray them in a surreal way. This technique is featured in Coraline in the scene where the other mother transforms into a body with an exaggerated angular structure, mimicking the sharp objects and harsh shadows often used in German Expressionism. Manipulation of the mind is explored in the cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Coraline through the plot and characterization. The way Dr. Caligari manipulates Caesar to commit murder at his bidding is comparable to the doll sent to watch Coraline and led her to the dangers of the other world. While Caesar is absent, a dummy resembling him takes his place, similar to the doll motif in Coraline. Dr. Caligari deceives the characters at the carnival by presenting himself as a powerful figure through his persona and clothes. During the 1920s, top hats were used to establish power and wealth, as stated in the Conversations News article in 2014. Therefore, this motif symbolizes his control throughout the film. Before committing the murders, his top hat is present. However, once he is locked up in the mental asylum, his hat is taken away from him, symbolic of his loss of power. Like Dr. Caligari, the other mother changes from showman to threatening, a characteristic that Caroline sees in her real mother. We made a deal, zip it. Throughout Coraline, the main forms of manipulation featured are techniques used by the other mother such as bribery, emotional manipulation, and physical force as an attempt to control Coraline's actions. The other mother purposefully bribes Coraline with food and affection as an attempt to make Coraline more compliant. Her lies are subtly represented through the double looped O in the word home written on the cake. As mentioned by Dr. Dalton in her book Handwriting Analysis and Psychology, this handwriting technique is used in pop culture to represent when someone is lying. Therefore, it was included as a hint to the audience that something is going to go wrong, making them paranoid as a result. The final fight scene includes the other mother turning into a spider-like creature and falling into a spiderweb, a literal approach of showing her web of lies. Both Coraline and the cabinet of Dr. Caligari present captivating storylines reflective of their cultural context. Themes of manipulation, paranoia, and perceptions of reality are demonstrated through the German expressionist style and exploration of the psychology of the mind.